Uh, morning folks. Uh, well, I've still got uh, Sean Scully going around in my head. I watched part of the documentary again this morning. Uh, mesmerised by it. Not the early stuff, but the, the, the simple uh, bar lines. The, the, uh, the structure of some of his paintings, they're so simple, anyone can do it. That's what he said, or words to that effect. Um, I, so I've, I've, I did this one yesterday and I like it but the uh, the primer on the board didn't really um, stay on the surface, it soaked in a bit, it was a bit thin, I used PVA glue diluted but it was too dilute and there are parts of the painting and you can't really see the shine but some parts are, have dried into the uh, the thinner dilute PVA bits on the MDF and some of it, the oily bits, have stayed on the top so I'm going to wait for that to thoroughly dry, probably take another day or so because I'm, I, I used uh, Alkid Walnut uh, medium fast dryer, it's, it's almost dry, I mean it's dry, but it's touch dry anyway but when that's dry I can, uh, I might just get, repaint it uh, so anyway, so, so that's it uh, anyone can do it. Well, Frank's always done it. He started off by doing, uh, well, I think he did a bit of traditional stuff, but he was quite young and uh, we got into art school and he was doing lots of uh, uh, diagonal exact drawings. That, that, that does nothing for me, but it's the, it's the, the apparently simple ones that really blow my mind away. It's just that you can't believe it can be a painting. That something so simple, and your choice of colours, can be so effective, or not, or, or provoke such a reaction. The usual, oh, anyone can do it. So, uh, people want to pay money for it. It's up to them. Um, I've had all of that, and I'm sure people like uh, Sean Stay had too. But it doesn't go away, does it? It's a uh, progression from from the, uh, the the early masters through Matisse, Van Gogh, Monet, Turner, uh, into the, mo the the more modernist Picasso, Braque, you name them. Uh, my my favourites are uh, Howard Hodgkin, the late Sir Howard Hodgkin, uh, and and uh, and now Sean Scully. I didn't know much about him. Because I mostly follow Saul Sego and Hilda, but it's all been done. And I remember someone saying that to the the, the, the lovely late Ted Wesson. Uh, um, it's all been done before Ted, and he said, "Not by me, it hasn't." So that was very telling. So a couple of mantras for me: are Frank Clark's "Have some more fun," Horizon, Horizon, have some, Horizon. Um, what was it? Horizon. Uh, horizon, oh sky, sky horizon, have have some more fun. Horizon, sky, middle and foreground. Um, you can express that in, in slabs, which is what I'm going to do now. But I, I'm thinking of um, my weekly bike rides, truncated uh, of late because of rain, uh, through through the various parks along the River Wandle to Morden. Hall Park and, and uh, beyond Merton Abbey, we go through some lovely parks and and it, and yeah, I, I look at them and I, I love them and I, I've painted them so many times, but I'm thinking so what, so what? Where's the where's I've sort of lost the emotion in it for, for the moment. So I'm going to I'm going to do sky, horizon. Well, I'll come down to the horizon, sky, middle and foreground. And, um, and I might superimpose some some objects on that, I don't know. But I'll make it up as I go along, so I've got my big inch and a half varnish brush. Got my paints, yellow, red, blue, black. And that black is to mix with some of the red, I'll put some more red out. It's cad red, some more red out, because I want to, the foreground to be, to be ready black. So I want a lot of that. Now, this can be wasteful, 
paint's not cheap. I don't know what they use, what Frank, uh, what uh, uh, Sean Scully uses. Looks like uh, household oil paints, but I don't think they would be because they're notorious for not being permanent. As uh, we're finding out with the Jackson Pollock drip paintings, uh, household enamels, gloss in the 50s, they, 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 they're ha having a. Oh, good! Oh dear, busted me tube now. Oh, I've got a big dollop of red on my, my penny. Hold on, I'm going to have to do something about that. Oh! Uh, just coming from so I use my pliers on it to squeeze to be um, stingy with the paint and I've, I've lost a lump of it. Where's that paint tube gone? Uh, here it is. Alright, oh, I'll have to put a bit of cling film around that. Ah. Oh, there's going to be a, quite a bit of red on that. Right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll fix that once I'll wrap that in some uh, stuff, but oh, what a mess. I'll have to try and get some of that off. Otherwise, it's going to go up my, my sleeves and my hoodie. It's a, a lovely day in London, They're very cold. It was a frosty starter game this morning. Right, I've done that. I'm ready to be there. Okay, start again. Uh, my pliers. Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? Be careful if you use pliers to to squeeze the paint up further up the tube. Uh, okay. Right. Let's start again. Right. This 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 the penny. Look. Red all over it. Cad red. Okay, so we'll start with the we'll start with the sky. So plenty of medium, put a bit of white, lump of blue. They're nicely mixed. You can probably see that. Let me do that. Because this goes, this will go in a silver frame just for display, really. It's a double lined frame and the re rebase on, on the frame, back of the frame is quite small so you have to paint right to the edge. So at my age of 74 I'm sort of le still learning about artists and, and, and art and why people paint the way they do, how they arrived at it. Sean Scully is a fascinating character. And if you're if you're British and watching this and have access to the iPlayer, BBC iPlayer, go and uh, have a look for yourselves. Okay. That's okay. Uh, right, uh, now what I love about what I'm trying to express, a uh, feeling of the boardwalk in Morden Hall Park, it looks over rushes, it's a wetland. It's not artificial, it's, the, the boardwalk is, of course, but it's very close to the water table and it's very marshy and it's very beautiful. It's not a large area, but when the, tr the uh, trees are coming into leaf, it covers the houses behind and you could be in a jungle or you could be in, in Norfolk because you're looking over a bit of water and, and, and fenland grass which is lovely. Got another brush here I think and we'll uh, uh, knock up a bit of, bit of, bit of green. Or shall we? No, we'll, we'll, I'm going to use some yellow, yellow ochre because that is a nice colour for For doing the uh, the grasses, uh, so 
song. I just want to show this in. It's an absolute profound sim simplicity. Intermediate. Bring that. Oops. Bring out the hairs. The cheap brush. Bit of reflection. Mm. Oh, yeah. use that brush now because I've got red on it. Right, red and black. Strange old thing painting, but it's but as has been said, it's my paint. I do what I like with it. And I know this will provoke reactions of some, but some will like it. <coughs> right now, I want to clean those brushes off. A bit of old toweling. Maybe you could enhance that red a little. So it couldn't be simpler, could it? We've got the sky, we've got the grass, we've got a reflection in the pond, and, and we've got we've got some some warm lands, some warm land. So, but I want to put in. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll use, I'll use that brush. Look, it's still stained with virgin. Uh, uh, we'll use it. Mix up a bit of green for some so the tree line. Bit of red, a uh, bit of blue. Maybe I should uh, use a bit of reading in there. Oh, let's find a bit of reading. What's left of it? Big tube, what was a tube, 200 mil tube. And I've got pliers just to take the lid off.
Oh, that'll do. Quite like that. So we've uh, what we've done is to uh, put all the elements of that landscape in the, this uh, abstract. We've got the sky, we've got the grasses, we've got the reflection, we've got the land, and we've got the the trees represented on the horizon. But that's what it looks like to me anyway. Uh, you might see something else in it, or you might see nothing. And you might think, what a waste of paint. But uh, I quite enjoyed doing it. Just with my knife and just scrape off some of that spare paint out of the brush. Against my better judgment, but I clean these brushes out in pure turps and then hold my nose. Uh, just wondering if I could get a bit of a lighter, lighter colour on that blue at the top. Clean the brush, clean as much of it as I can out of it. I don't clean, clean the brushes in turps as I go. <coughs> You tend to hold an oily rag under, under your face and end up with COPD. Well, I've got, I'm, just going to, I'm just going to pour a little bit of this uh, walnut, no, not walnut, um, pure linseed with alcove resin in. Alright, so let's uh, get that, uh, that white there. Yeah, that's better. Actually, it's a rubbish brush, I have to say. Best to buy your cheaper brushes from an art shop rather than a DIY shop. Oh, that's terrible, that right? well, I won't push my luck with it. Right, okay. Right, I'll carefully put that in a frame and show you it. I hope that doesn't soak into into the board. It should Oh well that's okay. Uh, uh, I'll open up the board for that. It's okay that'll stay in. So I can also awesome that later. So there we are. Never been done before. So, it's a totally original piece of work. It doesn't exist anywhere else. Uh, hope you like the frame. It's a gallery frame. Uh, I had some pictures in it. Or did I? From my friend David Skingle from Sackville Frames up the road. It used to be in Croydon. It's getting a bit battered now. I have two of these, they're beautifully made. Uh, and when he came out of Croydon, uh, he um, uh, his lease his lease was running out, so he moved premises to a and shared a, um, a wholesale glass place and carried on just framing and not selling pictures which is a shame because he sold a lot for me um, and he turned up on my doorstep in another gallery in Wallington so I feel delighted about that he's got a, he's sold a few, a few of my paintings but it's not a place to sell expensive paintings whoops let's just put that there I want to photograph this 
There's a fly got behind that. Put my little knife. Little knife. Get off. Wonderful that was. Okay, well there we are. One one lamp straight down. Won't be me today, but we've got a lot on today. <coughs> So there we are. I've got a small frame, a small uh, 10 by 8 frame, and I might do one for that. So hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.